In today's video, I'm talking all about trim paths in Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you've launched Adobe After Effects, we need to go ahead and create a brand new composition. So we'll press new composition and we'll rename this to trim paths and we'll make sure this is 1920 by 1080 and we'll press OK. Now from here, we're going to go up into the new shape and we're going to go and generate a new ellipse by pressing the ellipse tool. We want to make sure that there is no fill on this. So in the fill option, we want to select no fill and then we'll go over to the stroke. We'll select any color that we like and then we'll hold down shift and draw a circle in the center of the video. And then we'll go back up to the stroke and we can increase or decrease the size of the stroke depending on how we want this. Now from here, we need to align this up with the anchor point. So I'm going to load up the proportional grid and I'm going to press A on the keyboard, selecting the shape layer. And this will bring up the anchor point and I can just adjust this to make sure that the anchor point fits within the center of this circle. Now from here, we'll take the proportional grid off. So we'll just remove that and then we'll go into the shape layer. We'll go into contents and inside of contents, we'll click ellipse. And here you can see ellipse path one stroke fill one and transform. But we need to go ahead and we need to add some trim paths. So we'll go up to add. We'll scroll down to trim paths and that's going to generate this trim path menu for us. And here, as you can see, if I pull up the start, that's going to animate that circle for us. And the same thing again, if we do the end. So we'll pull the end down to 0% and we'll create a keyframe. We'll scroll across a second and we'll pull the end up to 100%. And if we play this back, there you go, that very subtly wipes on. And that is the really basic use of trim paths. Now, if we go into the start, we'll create a keyframe and 0%. We'll scroll across a second. We'll pull this up to 100%. There you go, we've got this really cool circle coming on and off screen. Now, if we go into the stroke menu in the shape layer, we can go down to the dashes and we can create some dashes. So we'll press the plus and we'll increase the size of these dashes. And with the animation from the trim pass, this is generating a really awesome and really unique effect. But we'll just remove those strokes for now. We don't need those. And we'll go into the stroke size, which is at the very top next to the fill and the stroke. And we'll just increase the size of this. Now that looks really awesome, but we'll just get rid of this for now. And we'll do the same thing on a custom mask. You don't have to do this on a circle or a rectangle. You can do this on any mask that you have. So this means if you draw some random scribbles all over the screen, go into contents, shape one and add trim paths. We can go ahead and we can do the same thing. We can add the animation onto this squiggle. So we'll pull the end down to 0%. We'll create a new keyframe. We'll scroll across in time and we'll pull this up to 100%. Now, if we play this back, there you go. That is the trim path effect taking place on this random squiggly mask. Now, the really cool thing, because the trim path is following the mask, if we change the shape of the mask, it's still going to animate within those selected keyframes. So that means we've got room to generate whatever patterns we like. And that means if we wanted to, we can go ahead and we can write out some text with the mask. So in this example, I'm just going to draw out the word hello. This is super rough. This is really rough. Make sure you do a better job of this. And now there you go. If we go through the same process of adding the trim paths and animating the trim paths, you can see that we've got this really cool text write on effect. And that is the basics of how to use trim parts inside of Adobe After Effects. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, push that bell icon, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.